Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Shanika and today I have a slow and satisfying yin yoga practice for the hips. This is going to target the low back and the side body as well. The practice is meant to release any tension or tightness, stiffness that you might be feeling in that area. So we are going to target that stubborn connective tissue that has you feeling stiff and sticky with longer held yin postures. So we're going to be holding them for about three minutes today and this is gonna really allow us to melt deeper into those poses and to really reap the benefits. One of the poses that we visit today is pigeon. So if pigeon isn't one of your favorite postures, I do offer a few tips and tricks to help you find a little bit more ease and comfort uh, in the pose. There are no props required, but maybe you'd like to use a pillow or a block for your pigeon, uh, just have it on standby. Uh, and that's it for me. I hope you enjoy the practice and I will see you on the mat. So starting in a comfortable seated position, we'll bring the right foot, right shin in front of the left. And then you just want to make sure that you're not sitting on your heels. So you wanna bring your feet a little bit forward and a little bit wide so that it feels like an awkward seated position. And then just move the fleshy parts from underneath you so that you're nicely grounded on the mat. And then just making sure you're uh, drawing your big toes towards your knees. Inhaling here and exhale to come forward any amount. So you can leave the gaze lifted or drop the gaze. Gently from here, lift the gaze, stay nice and low. We're just going to walk all 10 fingertips over towards the right side. So you're thinking about drawing your left rib cage over your right thigh. last few breaths here and just making sure that your left hip isn't lifting off of the floor Take our last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently lift the gaze, walk your fingers back through center, and gently walk yourself back up. From here, finding a deer position with the legs. So we're just going to swing that left leg back so that your right shin is now parallel to the top of the mat and your left shin is parallel to the side of the mat. 
taking twisted deer from here. Nice big inhale. And on the exhale, taking the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Maybe you stay here for a few breaths. Or maybe you come down onto your forearms. And as you come down, finding sphinx arms, spreading your fingertips nice and wide, think about pulling your elbows back and drawing your chest forward. I remember I once had a student um, in one of my in-person classes tell me that this pose helped her with her kidney stones. last few breaths here Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently push down into your palms. Push yourself up very gently, twist back through center. And from here, we'll just take a little counter pose briefly. So we're going to lean diagonally. So bringing your right hand behind you so that it's in line with your right hip or just behind your right glute, and then take your left hand behind you. From here, you're looking to internally rotate your left hip forward as you lean back. Feel a gentle stretch in the left groin. And let's gently release this, come all the way back up, making our way into pigeon. So you're going to extend that left leg all the way back. I'm just gonna turn here. So you're going to extend the left leg all the way behind you. Tuck your toes under. Nice long line from your knee to your big toe. Glance over your left shoulder. Make sure your leg is actually uh, behind you and not on a diagonal. 
From here, we're going to take revolved pigeon. So walking all 10 fingertips over towards the left. You can take your left hand onto the left knee, completely up to you, sprinkling your right fingertips in front of you or placing your hand on your knee just for a few breaths. This is gonna help us go just a little bit deeper in our pigeon. So lots of activation in the leg. You had your left hand on the back of the left leg, bring your left fingertips in front of you and keeping your left toes tucked under, just square off your hips to the top of your mat. You're drawing your right hip back and your left hip forward. If you can pick up your left knee and come down onto your forearms, finding that sphinx position again with the arms. Pull the elbows back, just be here for a few breaths. And our pigeon should feel very nice and satisfying once we Relax into the pose. Let's bring the left knee to the floor, untuck the toes. You can stay here on your forearms, or maybe you notice you can go a little bit deeper. Maybe bring your forehead to stack palms or reach the arms forward. Some minimal pressure in the elbows. Belly is soft. Jaw is relaxed. Last few breaths here. Maybe you tuck your left toes under, pick up your left knee, and then shimmy your left toes closer towards the back of your mat and untuck the toes, finding length in the legs and length in the arms. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Just 
gently lift the gaze, push into the palms. Lean your weight into your right hip. Swing that left leg forward. Bring your hands behind you. And just hang out here for a moment. Just taking it in, just taking in all those sensations. That right leg. And let's gently make our way to the other side. Just noticing how this one side feels compared to the side that we're about to do. So let's bring the left shin in front of the right, flexing your toes towards your knees. Feet come a little bit forward and a little bit wide. Move the fleshy parts from underneath you. Inhale here. And exhale to fold over your shins. Let that go. Next inhale, lift the gaze, staying nice and low. Let's walk all 10 fingertips over to the left. And this time you're thinking about drawing your right rib cage over the left knee. Trying to draw that right hip down. Last few breaths here. Last two breaths, a nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently 
walk yourself back through center. Might feel a little tender and come all the way back up, back up right. Making your way into deer, twisted deer. So taking your left shin parallel to the top of the mat and swinging your right leg behind. So your right leg is parallel to the side of the mat. Inhale to lengthen up here. And on the exhale, taking your right hand to the outside of the left knee. So you can stay here on palms or maybe you come down onto your forearms bringing your hands to that, bringing your forearms to the floor, to that sphinx position, as you pull the elbows back and draw the chest forward. If you notice that maybe it's hard for you to find a twist in this position, if you think about pulling your elbows back uh, so that you're not sort of hanging out or just collapsing in the pose, it helps to maintain the twist. And I can still feel the effects of the other side in my right leg. Subtly, but I can still feel it. Last few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Pushing down into the palms, push yourself all the way back up and gently turn yourself forward once again taking your left hand directly behind your left hip your left sit bone and bringing your right hand behind you so instead of just leaning your weight back you're looking to lift up and internally rotate that right hip forward then lean back really a nice gentle stretch that right hip
On your next exhale, let's bring ourselves out of this and making our way into pigeon. So you're going to extend that right leg back, finding your pigeon, setting yourself up here. So nice long line from your knee to your big toe, and you're going to have your right toes tucked under. So just glance over your shoulder, make sure your leg is actually behind you and not on a diagonal. Taking your left fingertips, sprinkling them onto the floor, onto your knee, as you take your right hand onto the back of your right hamstring, just for a few breaths here. Take some neck rolls, feels really nice. Gently from here, remove your right hand from your right hamstring and bring them, bring both hands out in front of you. Keeping your right toes tucked under, you're thinking about drawing your left hip back and your right hip forward. So you're really squaring off through the hips. Pick up the right knee and come down onto your forearms. Finding Sphinx arms again, you're gonna pull the elbows back as you draw the chest through. A few breaths here. So gently bring that right knee to the floor, untuck the toes. You can stay here on forearms, just allow everything to soften now. You can bring your forehead to stack palms, just trying to relax the elbows, the jaw, the belly, and even the face. Just noticing if you're carrying or holding any facial expressions. Just trying to relax. Coming into our last few breaths, finding length through the fingers and toes. So tuck the right toes under, pick up the right knee and shimmy the right foot back, finding length in that back leg. Bring the knee back to the floor, untuck the toes. Maybe extending the arms forward. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And let it go. Let 
lifting the gaze, push into the palms. Lean your weight into your left hip and swing the right leg forward. We're coming all the way down onto our backs. Right away into our Shavasana. And it's up to you if you want to extend the legs out. Maybe you want to find constructive rest whereby you bring the feet as wide as the mat and allow the knees to knock in. feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like or otherwise adding little flickers of movement back into the body wiggling the fingers the toes rotating the ankles the wrists Reaching the arms up overhead for a nice long body stretch. Reach, 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 reach. And on the exhale, let it go. Bend the knees one by one. Rolling over onto your side. And gently from here, pushing yourself all the way up to a seat. With your eyes closed, just humbly bow your chin in towards your chest. Drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And on the exhale, drop them down and away. In one final cleansing breath, nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Gently opening the eyes. 
I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope you're feeling nice, relaxed, mobile, and flexible in the lower half. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment. Let me know how you got on. And also, I received a suggestion from one of you, and that was to provide inspirational quotes, life advice, and I think that's a great idea. I'm just looking for a little bit of guidance, a little bit of direction. What sort of topics would you like me to cover? Uh, anything specific? Uh, maybe there are quotes that you like from a particular person. Let me know in the comments. Um, that's something that I would that I would like to introduce here on my channel. So if a little guidance would would help me out a little bit. Uh, having said that. Subscribe, like, share it with friends and family, and I will see you back here again soon for another practice.